welcome. I am excited that you're here with me today. What we're going to look at today is what is what is change and how can I change? And what is it about my behavior that is so etched in my behavior that I do things without thinking or I do things without um, being consciously aware of how different it could be if I were willing to change. And I, I think as I age, I, I don't seem to desire change as much as I used to. Like I used to uh, kind of be against almost everything in my life and I wanted to change almost everything in my life. And now I like almost everything in my life and I when I desire something new, I kind of think about it for a while and I think, do I really desire that? And sometimes I talk myself out of my desires because my life is so good right now and I'm so joyful about my life right now. So it's really fascinating to me um, how we set standards and then don't change. But I wonder if there could be change just because just just for no reason other than adding a little tiny sparkle of joy to life like this is going to sound I don't know how it's going to sound judge me if you like but I'm not the kind of mom who cooks for my kids I my kids are almost grown and basically they are in the kitchen themselves and they all know how to cook and they all cook for themselves and one of my kids is in a kind of advanced athletic swim coaching role right now where she comes home just starving and so tonight I what I did is <laughs> I didn't actually cook it from scratch but I made sure there was a big nice fresh lasagna waiting um, when she got home and it was just a change it was just something I did different it was something that gave me a sense of joy to care for her than my little lovely being in that way so I'm wondering if there was some element of your life that you could change without mm, making it a big deal or making it a little deal you know how we make things too big of a deal and then they move out into this realm of impossibility so maybe just for the purpose of this I'm going to do a meditation in a minute maybe just for the purpose of this experiment of life choose something that you'd be willing to change today so hmm, that might mean how you comb your hair how you take a bath how you drive to work how you sit up or don't sit up straight you know what's your posture like what's something today that you'd be willing to do differently than you have done in the past and hmm, what else am I being shown take an area of your life okay so that's good so change something that's cool okay we get to, actually we already did that now we're done <laughs> <laughs> just do it for fun. Take an area of your life that's already pretty good. Like it's already something that gives you a sense of satisfaction. Um, if you're t if you're if you're a glass half empty person, be shocked that you've been listening to me on this show because I'm so optimistic. But if you're um, an optimistic person, um, there may be many things that you're happy about. But take something. Like, for instance, hmm, let's see, what's something really good? What I'd like to encourage you to do is now sort of 10 exit, and then 10 exit, and then 10 exit. So let's just do money, because I've done money pretty often on the show. People seem to like to clear blockages around having lots of money. So let's go ahead and just picture one of your bank accounts. And now um, add a zero. So if it's ten dollars, make it one hundred. If it's one hundred dollars, make it one thousand. 
If it's $4,000, go ahead and make it $40,000. And now just look at that number, whatever that number is for you. And breathe into the new number. And just picture yourself tapping into your account. So maybe it's a checking or a savings, or maybe it's cash under your mattress. Um, picture that amount now doubling again. So let's just go for the 4000 became 40000 and now it's $80,000, okay? Or make it into your own, you know, rand or your own um, currency, euro. I know there's people all over the world. I have people listening in Egypt. I wonder what your currency is. I don't know what it is. But go ahead and change it into your own currency and make it relevant. So <laughs> so it's like Mexican um, pesos. It's going to be a much different number. All righty. So now, and again, if it was $100 and you made it 1000 now make it $2,000. Uh, um, so it was 4000 make it 40,000 now it's 80,000 and let's take that new number let's just kind of shower it around our being and then what would we do different if we had that number now what would be different in our lives and I, I'd like you to really take a second and shift into what it would be like when this number is now um again from 4000 to 80000 or 100 to 2000 and so just really absorb that new number and just kind of see what happens in your life like when you wake up tomorrow and this number is still there and then the next day and the next day and the next day and then go ahead and take some of that number and put it somewhere where you can't like in your we're pretending so put it somewhere where you're going to save it and then have fun with the rest or pay bills with the rest or buy a new truck with the rest or do something with the rest in your mind's eye and now i'd like you to go in go back to that number and let's just um i'm being shown to quadruple the new number so if it's if you did a hundred and you made it a thousand, you made it two thousand, make it eight thousand now. If you were at four thousand and you made it forty thousand, eighty thousand, make it uh, um, three hundred and twenty thousand. Okay? So let's just see now. Let's add that money back into our lives. So now we're, I'm looking at three hundred and twenty thousand dollars or three point two million, whatever it is for you. And and something happened when I just forexed it, and I don't know if you felt it. So when you were going from one hundred to one thousand, you were able to stay with me. You were able to picture a thousand dollars. That was okay. When we doubled that, and it was two thousand, everybody was here. I could feel it. You were staying with me. You could do that. But when we forexed that second number. It shifted out of, oh yeah, I got that, I can do that, that's like within my realm, no problem, of course I can double my money, of course I can double my money. I have this, of course I can double my money. But when it went to Forex, when it, can I Forex my money, something happened and I'd like us to really look at that and see if see what else would be better so let's take that again i'm sorry there's so many numbers on this show gosh the numbers are really being perky though so if we take the eighty thousand we double it again and make it one hundred sixty thousand. way easier for, for me to wrap my arms around it way easier for me to picture that money in my accounts it's not a stretch it's not a big deal i've had that money before i can have that money again so you want to look at at what point does something become not doable or not haveable or not not in your not in your capacity to comprehend, right? Because those limits are your own 
personal limits. They're so personal. Your bank account is so personal. It's, and of course you may share it with significant others, but these numbers that are in your life, these numbers are numbers that you have created and will keep creating, keep generating until you change them. And so that even if you inherit money or even if you win the lottery, or even if you get given some huge number of dollars, you want to work on these limits inside yourself because as you expand these, everything will change like for good like you change these things for good like you don't have to keep working on this your entire life you can change some of these things for good okay so i think i just came up with a topic for my next show but i won't promise it because once i start recording i always get given inspiration of what i might talk about so today you're joining me on energy clearing for life force a meditation podcast and what we were working on was expanding our limitations and growing beyond our limitations, and making new choices, okay? Mm, nice. If you'd like a private session, you can email me is the best way to reach me, happypublishing at gmail.com, and just send me a little note if you'd like to have some kind of work on this, and I'd be happy to help you change your set points um, with you, done with you, again. Thank you so much and have a most amazing day.